and then we have a few babies. So one of them that's right in front of us, his name is Oliver. And uh, Oliver's, uh, I think he's four years old. I think he just turned four years old, or he will turn four years old. And that's some of the loud expressions that I was talking about. I know you guys are most familiar with chimps being very loud, but as you guys saw before this, uh, they tend to be very, very quiet. So if you guys, how many guys of you guys have seen the chimp chat before? Yes, okay. How many of you guys are members? Oh, okay, shout out to the members. Um, so if you guys haven't seen the chimp chat before, then over in the left-hand side corner of this exhibit, our chimp keepers will be going, and they'll be feeding our chimp candies lunch. And so you guys will get to see uh, some of our chimpanzees and kind of how they behave when they're uh, doing one of their most social activities, which is eating. Uh, so if you guys have any questions up until that point, again, my name is DJ, but if not, we'll get started as soon as we see the chimp keepers. Come here, Come here. Come here. Come here. you guys expected the chimps to be this calm? No? Yeah. At least you're honest, yes. Okay, so there are some of our chimp keepers. So now you guys will hear hand hoots of our chimpanzees. All right, so again, welcome to the Los Angeles Zoo. My name is DJ, and welcome to our chimpanzee exhibit here at the Los Angeles Zoo. So here at the zoo, we have 17 chimpanzees. And uh, sometimes our chimpanzees can get a bit loud. And the reason why they can get loud is because it's lunchtime. And that's a time for the chimpanzees really to kind of establish the dominance hierarchy that they have created. So uh, just like us, uh, these guys, tend to get a little frisky every now and then, you know. Uh, we all like our afternoon delights, whether it be lunch or otherwise. Uh, but as I mentioned, we have 17 chimpanzees here at the LA Zoo, and so that allows you guys to see a wide variety of behaviors from these guys. And uh, as you guys see on the left-hand side, we have one of our chimp keepers. <laughs> Excuse me. And she's throwing in uh, both fruits and vegetables. Uh, to our chimpanzees and this is called free feed and it's a feeding strategy that zoos and other institutions will use when they have a lot of animals and so we use this free feed because chimpanzees they live in a dominance hierarchy which means just kind of like us there's generally uh individuals that are at the, are at the top and then it kind of trickles all the way down to our younger uh, babies which you guys have seen are our juveniles and so generally, our chimpanzee keepers are well aware of kind of who's higher ranking and who's uh, lower on the bottom. And when they throw in that food, uh, when they throw in that food, they respect that hierarchy. So generally, uh, our alpha male, who's Glenn, and if I see him, he was he was the guy up at the top that was grooming. I'll point him out again. And uh, generally, it'll trickle all the way back down. So these guys are omnivores, which basically means they'll eat. Uh, both other animals as well as plant material. But generally, these guys uh, will only eat plant material. So as you guys can see, uh, there is apples being thrown in right now. You guys saw Gracie there uh, catch one of those apples. So chimpanzees, you guys would notice as our keepers are throwing in the food, they're a great catch. And that's simply because like us, these guys have opposable digits or an opposable thumb. And so that allows them to manipulate and, and uh, in a lot of ways to act uh, many ways like us, such as grooming. So you guys saw uh, head scratching or maybe just uh, hair brushing. And those are all things chimpanzees uh, do just to kind of reinforce their social bonds with one another. And so you guys see, if you guys look at the top of that rock at the very top, that's one of our mom and juveniles. So uh, 
the mom's name there is Zoe, and then right below her, that's Johari. And Johari's about three and a half years old. He's coming up on four years old. But oftentimes what you'll see is the moms will grab multiple uh, fruits and vegetables, and that's simply because uh, the kids will later come and pluck uh, some of those apples or some of those tasty treats out of their mouths. And so generally with a chimpanzee group this size, everybody helps out with the juveniles. So we have five that range in between three to six years old. And you see all the way at the left-hand side where the other viewing glass is, that's Oliver. So he's uh, our youngest chimpanzee. I, I believe Johari is a little bit older than him. Uh, but now you see uh, tomatoes. Excuse me, so switch it around. So that is actually uh, Johari and then Oliver's on the other end. But you guys will also notice that our chimpanzees, they walk on all four. Uh, so that type of locomotion is called quadrupedal. And uh, these guys actually walk on their knuckles. And so uh, that's their locomotion. But you will see sometimes with our males, sometimes when they get uh, maybe uh, a little bit agitated or when they want to show their dominance, they'll walk on all twos. And that's called bipedally. And then we have another one of our moms up there, the one on the right-hand side. That, her name is Julie. And uh, she, you guys can notice her because she has a uh, white beard. And so also down here on this lower end, the guy that's eating the apple, his name is Ben. And he's actually the father of four of the five juveniles uh, that we have here at the zoo, though he's not the alpha male. And so you guys are seeing that the chimpanzee keeper is throwing in more food than actually is being eaten right now. And that's again a part of that free feed. So all throughout the day in the morning, in the afternoon, and later on in the evening, uh, our keepers will throw food all the way around the exhibit. And that's because chimpanzees in the wild and here at the zoo, they'll naturally forage for their food. So oftentimes they'll do circles. So you see the babies oftentimes going around. And uh, that's because uh, that's what chimpanzees would do in the wild. And it allows them to get a little bit more enrichment or a physical stimulation from their environment. Chimpanzees are critically endangered, so these guys are from uh, generally Western to, uh, Central Africa. And uh, in 1900, so about just over a century ago, there was two million chimpanzees on this planet. Does anyone want to guess how many chimpanzees there are in the wild today? Yes. 2,000. So that's... If it was that low, we'd be in real trouble. But that's a good guess. So it's only about 250,000 chimpanzees left in the wild. So that means over a span of about 100 years, uh, we've lost more than half of the population. Uh, but just by visiting the zoo, uh, some of the money that you guys spent today goes towards the conservation of these animals. How many of you guys would ever consider eating a chimpanzee? Okay, I would. You know, push come to shove. Uh, but generally, we wouldn't, that wouldn't be our first option, right? But in Africa, uh, these guys are actually uh, hunted and it's a part of a trade called the bushmeat trade. And so chimpanzees, gorillas, as well as other animals, even, even uh, large hoofed animals like giraffes, are killed for their meat and then they're sold on this underground market trade. Uh, so this zoo uh, helps in the Cameroon teach people about the bushmeat trade and allows them to really kind of open up their perspective, general people, uh, that these guys do not deserve uh, to be killed and rather there's other sustainable ways to get your food. And so now you guys are seeing uh, Kate up there. She's their keeper. She's throwing in green onion. So these guys will eat onions uh, raw and whole. And so uh, you guys may have uh, noted that uh, some chimpanzee troops will kill other animals, but generally these guys uh, get most of their nutrition from plant material. And so uh, here at the zoo, they'll get a lot of fruits, they'll get a lot of vegetables, uh, and they'll get other tasty snacks. And they also get monkey biscuits. So the term mon monkey biscuits, does anyone want to tell me why that might be misno a misnomer or why that may be inaccurate? Anybody? Are these guys monkeys? No, so what are they? Apes. Okay, so you guys know. Okay, so what's the difference between a monkey and an ape? Yes. Right, so monkeys have tails and apes don't. So if you guys look right down here, this is Zoe and Johari. And if you guys look at Johari's bum, you guys will notice that there is no tail. Uh, so he is, in fact, considered an ape. 
So here at the zoo we have other great apes, the orangutans as well as the gorillas. Uh, but good job, that is the main difference between the two. So yeah, if you guys can look, those of you guys on the left hand side, if you guys look up to the right with Zoe, you'll notice that she has tomatoes not only in both hands, but also both feet. Uh, so that's where that really comes in handy. And uh, the cool thing about our chimpanzees is they're very willing to share. So we talked about grooming and how important that is, but also allo parenting or just taking care of other chimp uh, babies that may not necessarily be your own. Those are ways in which you can build bonds and also re reinforce bonds that you have. We talked about that dominance hierarchy th that these guys have. So in order to maintain your spot, you basically have to have good social relations with everybody. And that's kind of just how we run too. You know, you have to have more friends than enemies, and if you don't, then you tend to go a little bit lower on that totem pole. So Julie up there that's eating that tomato, she along with our other uh, moms have all been trained through positive reinforcement to use uh, an ultrasound. So their keepers will ask them to present their belly on the mesh. And that way our veterinary uh, staff and our keepers can look at the baby and make sure that everything is okay. Uh, another one, Julie, our same uh, chimpanzee up there, she was actually also taught to use a breast pump. Uh, so these guys are extremely intelligent and generally uh, we reserve their fruit or their Greek yogurt or honey or anything like that for their positive reinforcement training. And that's basically where they participate in their own health care. So our keepers will ask them to present an arm or a leg, just like that, and by name. And if they do that successfully, then they'll get that treat. And uh, also, it ultimately helps when the veterinarian comes. Because just like us, no one really likes to, to deal with medicine or likes to deal with doctors. And the same goes for the chimpanzees. They know who the veterinarians are. So uh, with our keepers working with them every day on those tactile things, it allows our chimps to be able to be less stressed and to be able to uh, willingly participate in all those trainings. Does anyone have any questions about our chimpanzees that I may not have got to? No? Okay, so that's going to conclude our chimpanzee chat. Again, my name is DJ. If you guys have any other questions, I'll still be around here. Uh, but if not, enjoy the rest of your day here at the LA Zoo. Can chimpanzees carry us? Yes, they can. They can do a lot more than carry us. Um, so that is a good, that's a very good point. And these guys are protected contact. So there's always going to be a barrier between the chimpanzees and between their keepers simply because these guys have about twice, if not more, the strength than we do. Uh, so, uh, you know, although they look very docile, they could cause a lot of damage if they wanted to. So great question. And I also didn't mention uh, right here this chimpanzee uh, that's a little bit behind the other two. Her name is Nan, and Nan is an insulin-dependent diabetic. Uh, so every day she has to have uh, her blood sugar read as well as insulin injected, and that's all done through her positive reinforcement training. So Nan's the second one, and right in front of her, that is her son, Glenn, and Glenn is considered the alpha male of our group. And then, and then coming behind them, how many grandmas do we have in the house? Any grandmas? All oh, right. So Regina right there, she's also a grandmother. So uh, she has not only Zuri, but she has another granddaughter. Yes, so she's right here and she's carrying the two tomatoes in her, or three tomatoes in her left hand. Jean right there, she's uh, a little bit younger, but she's one of our main allo parents. She always helps out with the younger kids. Oh Behind God. that's Sean, so and then back here this is Oliver. And you guys are again looking at Julie. So, yeah, Julie is, she probably takes the cake in that So you guys see she probably has three tomatoes in her mouth, and I think four tomatoes in her hand. Yeah. 
And so, but that's all for that talk. They'll, they'll have like kind of a PVC pipe where they stick 